What, are, what kind of different energy has maybe Coach Haggins brought to the table the last two weeks for you guys? Uh, you know, just just as a team, you know, when when some things uh, happen that are out of your control, you know, there's a couple ways you can handle it. You know, you, you battle adversity. You talk about it as a coaching staff all year, and um, you know, Odell is a guy that loves this university, and everybody loves him, and so. Uh, I think situationally with him being able to get in front of the team and those guys rally upon upon him and, and his love for the you know that he has for the university and the players. I think it's real. I think the passion's real. And I think that's why we've been able to have a little bit of success. What about like his, his management style? Has that helped you guys as, as coaches? Maybe kind of be the best you guys can be as well. Uh, you know, anybody. If there's any change, there's going to be different styles of management. Um, you know, whether one style is better than the other, I, you know, I won't speak into that, but Odell has his own style, and um, he has his own style as far as talking to the players, and of course everybody's going to be different, and um, he's done a really good job. You wouldn't play Jordan without thinking he'd bring a spark, but has he even exceeded expectations of what you thought he could bring to the field? Um, I mean, his first carry, he goes and scores, so that was good on a third and three. Uh, but, I mean, we knew he was really athletic. We've seen it all year. We've seen him going against the scout team whenever he does that. And, um, you know, he's, he has not disappointed. And we knew that he was, he was gifted with his feet, and he's been able to, to go out there and uh, execute a high level. Had you flirted with trying to insert him prior to that point? Had that been a discussion that had been had leading up to then? I don't know about discussion, but we've, we talked about it offensively. And, and said, hey, do you feel like we need to get this guy going uh, just just to give us a little bit of spark on offense, you know, with uh, playing 11-on-11 11 11 football. That's why you saw some of the Wildcats stuff, just to, once again, try to be able to run the football effectively. So, yeah, it's been talked about, and, um, you know, fit the game plan against PC. I mean, everything happens uh, this Florida game, a uh, really aggressive defensive front again, I guess maybe maybe similar to Miami, I don't know if they're or not, but just the like, kind of challenge that they pose for you guys up front and, and how you almost how you plan on attacking on the way the game plan. Just your, your initial thoughts, I guess, of the, the matchup with Florida. Yeah, not just up front, uh, their whole defense. I mean, they're, they're stacked. They got really good personnel and they got good depth. I mean, they roll a lot of guys in there and play. Um, they do a great job with their scheme. Their guys understand their scheme um, and they're not going to give you anything. Uh, so, yeah, they're really, really well coached up front. It's going to be a great challenge for us. Do you guys expect to have Cam back at that point? We do. Yeah. Has he been able to practice today? No, he's done a little bit, but but he should be full go by then. Quarterback wise, has James shown you some of that practice, or has it been a health and kind of thing that's allowed him to, to be the start of the last two weeks? Um, you know, Alex got pretty banged up against Miami. Took some shots. Um, James got a lot of the reps against BC. Thought he looked really well and um, had a little plan for for uh, JT, and um, I think James is playing with a lot of confidence right now. So, you know, if you got a confident guy, then you're going to roll with him. So, uh, we'll continue to do that. How do you kind of grade the game against Alabama State? I mean, I imagine you probably didn't want to put everything you had out there, you know, the last time before you could play another team like Florida. Just did, did James grow from what he did against Boston College, and, and how much do you, diversity do you guys still have in your attack left for this last game of the season? Uh, did he grow? You know, he, he played well. You know, he didn't play exceptional. He had an interception, which, you know, I put part on him and then part on the receiver. Um, and the guy made a good play. You know, the guy's going to make good plays as well. But um, James has played well. Uh, he's played confident. He's throwing the ball uh, with authority. Uh, we got to continue to play better up front. Um, you know, we didn't play some of the freshmen that, you know, have, have helped us be a little bit better up front. So um, there's a lot of pieces to the puzzle. We've got to find a way to put them together and, and make it look like a good picture. What's, what's it like for you? We've heard Odell say that his his sort of thought process going to the last few games was just he's going to let you do what you want to do on offense. Just what's it like when you have a, a guy working above you that's just going to let you go ahead and execute what you want and, and let your vision go? Uh, it's, you know, it's been great. You know, Odell, like I said, I think he's done that. Not just me, but with, with everybody. I think, you know, it's let the players play, play freely and, and the coaches to coach. And, um, you know, that's what you'd expect for a guy to, to take over in this situation is to, to not try to get to involved in something he doesn't particularly know a whole lot about. You know, he's been coaching the D line. So, um, He's been he's been awesome. I love Odell. He's a tremendous person, and um, I feel very blessed to be coaching with him. What is pass rush is probably the strength of that team. Obviously, it's something you kind of have to scheme around. Just having that extra week, how helpful can that be in preparing for knowing what you're going to go against? It can be helpful, but I've said it before, you still got to block. You know, 
Correct. Do all you want to do from a schematic standpoint, but at some point you got to block them. And uh, they got guys that get off blocks, and that's across the board. The linebackers, DBs, they do a great job of getting off blocks. Their D line um, is exceptional with it. So we got our hands full. Is the Andrew guy you hope to, to have inserted in the lineup against Florida? There's a lot of shakeup on the offensive line from Boston College this past week. Is that just people earning playing time? Is Andrew come up a seller? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we just on the know. offensive line overall, I guess there's a lot of changeover from Boston College. Uh, we're, we're a beat-up football team, you know, we are, and uh, hopefully we'll have we'll have Andrew who's practice today. Um, he's still not 100, percent but hopefully the extra time will get him back right. He's been dealing with an ankle. Yes. Yeah. It's rare to have a bye week this late in the season. Just how big is it for this team? Like you said, being so banged up. It's huge. You know, it's huge for offense and defense and special teams. You know. Um, Hopefully we get some of those guys back, you know, and um, we got some guys that still aren't able to practice right now. But the more time you have, um, you know, Jake, one, you know, our head trainer does a tremendous job, and our doctor, the whole team, they do a great job of getting these guys back. And uh, we're using this week to get better and work on us, and then get some of our guys healthy. You talked about being beat up, just especially receivers. So you're down to a handful of scholarship guys. How impressed have you been? How they've been able to kind of manage that? Yeah, I've never seen anything like it with uh, with the injuries and the, the depth in the receiver room. Um, we've got a couple guys that didn't practice today, so we're, we're extremely limited right now as far as being able to do what we want in practice. So. Um, but other guys got to step up. Got to find ways to to keep it going, and uh, we'll do that. Is Warren Thompson available for you guys? He is not right now. No. Kendall, when there's a sudden change in the coaching staff or the head coach, how do you how do you keep it together? How do you keep the team together? How does a team or a coaching staff stay together when there's such a sudden change like that? Uh, you know, when things like that happen, I think characters are built. Uh, no, we got a lot of high character people that are working here at Florida State. You know, all the, the coaches and uh, uh, the staff, the GAs, quality control people. Um, and there's two ways you can handle things, and uh, we're going to handle it the right way. And, um, you know, Coach Odell, he's a strong Christian man, I am myself. And, uh, you know, you hold those values high and you go out there and try to sell them into your players and let them know that, you know, worse things are out there. You know, don't, don't take just a small picture right now and try to look at the big picture and keep things moving and, and do your best for this university. Have you been impressed how the young men have handled it? I have been very, very impressed. Um, you know, it's tough. It's a tough situation. And uh, those guys have been extremely resilient. And, um, I do think Coach Odell and his passion has helped us. I know after the BC game, Odell said, you know, after the Sunday practice, you know, spend time with your team, mm -hmm. with your segment group. So how important was that? Was was that a, a, a good order to, to, to follow? And how, how big was that at that time? It was awesome. It was awesome. Yeah. Um, one of the best things I've had in a, in a while, you know, just to be able to be with all the players. I had all the quarterbacks and receivers all at the house. We hung out, played football in the yard, uh, shot hoops. Uh, barbecue for everybody, and then obviously it helps when you win. Uh, so everybody's in a good mood, and uh, yeah, it was a great day. It was, it was a great idea by Coach Odell. Did you guys do something like that again this Sunday? Church? Did I hear? Yeah, we all went to church this Sunday. Uh, not everybody; it wasn't mandatory, but uh, a lot of the team was there. And so I think he brings those type of things. Would you have interest in being the head coach here? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a top ten job in the country, um, and you got great leadership and administrators, administrative people here. So, uh, absolutely. Um, but right now, I'm just you know trying to get through this practice and get to the next one. <laughs>